hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this tutorial we will create the nav bar for our social network we will include that nav bar on every page so for that let's create a new file and we will save this file in the includes folder and we will name this as header.php and click save so here is our header.php file in the includes folder so first thing we will do is to open our php tags and over here we will type we will first include the connection.php file because we will do some php work on in this page on the header.php file so our connection file is in the includes folder and then connection.php and now we need one more file or we will do that in the later videos so now first we will open up our nav tags and this nav will have a class oops it will be equals to i think nav nav bar over here it also nav bar and then nav bar minus default minus or hyphen sign and in this nav bar we will open up a div tags and uh, this div will have a class class will be equals to container minus or hyphen fluid and now we will open up another div and uh, this div will have a class class will be equals to navbar hyphen header and then we will create a button and uh, this button this button type will be equals to button and class will be equals to navbar hyphen toggle and then co collapse and uh, data hyphen toggle will be equals to collapse and uh, data I think it's target and it will be equals to hashtag ps so guys just remove this data and then hyphen target and then we will type a r i a and then expanded expanded and it will be equals to false and after this button we will add a span tag and uh, class will be equals to sr hyphen only it's only and then we will type toggle toggle and then navigation and then we will open up another span tag and its class will be equals to icon hyphen bar and just copy this and change this var to bar because it's not var so after this div and i think oh, after this pen tag uh, we will add a a and then her will be equals to home.php and uh, class will be equals to nav bar nav or just nav bar hyphen brand 
and then we will close the herf tag and over here we will type coding cafe or you can write your own social network name so after this div so after this div you will open up another div and this div will have a class and class will be collapse and then nav bar hyphen collapse and uh, its id will be equals to we will don't give it uh, id for now we will just leave that and uh, inside this div we will open up and you will tag an order list and this unordered list will have a class class will be nav and then nav bar hyphen nav and inside this ul tag we will open up a php tags and over here we will type we will create a users variable and it will be equals to dollar underscore session and uh, we will take the user underscore email so using this user variable we will now take the users data from the database using the user email so after this uh, user variable we will create a new variable get underscore user and it will be equals to select all from the users table where user underscore email will be equals to the total user variable and then close it and then we will create another variable run underscore user and uh, it will be equals to my sqli underscore query and then the connection variable and then get underscore user variable and create a variable row and it will be equals to the my sqli underscore fetch underscore array and uh, we will pass the run underscore user variable so now we need the user underscore id and uh, it will be equals to dollar row and then brackets and uh, in here we will take the user id and then we will take the user underscore name and uh, user underscore name so guys i just paused the video and i typed all of this okay so if you want to type this then pause this video and type all of the data so we need this following data okay so after this so now we will add a counter for the post so it will show how many posts did the user have i mean the latest post so for that we will create a user underscore post variable and it will be equals to select uh, all from user from the post sorry sorry uh, so guys i didn't create this post table i will create this post table in the next video okay so don't worry and we will type where user underscore id will be equals to the dollar user underscore id variable and then we will create another variable run underscore posts 
and it will be equals to my SQLI underscore query and then we will pass the dollar connection variable and then the dollar user underscore post variable and then we will create another variable posts and uh, this will be equals to my sqli underscore num underscore rows and then we will pass the dollar run underscore posts variable so guys this is it for this video and in the next video i will continue this work from from here okay so don't worry and subscribe our channel coding cafe